Hello, so I'm just going to show you how to plot straight line graphs using a table of results and a set of axes. I've actually got four to plot here, so I might not do them all, but I'll show you how to go with it. In this first one, we've got a rule here. It says y is equal to x, and then in the table, we've got some different values for x. And um, this rule is a really easy one. It's just that the y value is the same as the x. So whatever x is, the y one is just the same. So if it's minus four, it's minus four. Minus three here, minus three here. So these are all just exactly the same because that rule says the y value is the same as or equal to the x value. So this is about as nice as the rule could possibly be. And then I'm gonna plot these on this graph as though they're coordinates. So the x one is on the side to side axis here. Might not be a bad idea to label that as x. And then the other one is the y one. So I'm gonna to go to minus four on the x axis. It's over here. Tiny writing, but that says minus four. And then I'm going to go down to minus four as well. So watch out for the scales here. Minus four on the x-axis, minus four on the y-axis is here. Next one says minus three, minus three. Across always goes first. So minus three on the x-axis, and then down to minus three on the y-axis. Minus two, minus two. So across to minus two, and then down to minus two. So across then down every time, across to minus one, down to minus one. That's here, zero, zero. So across nothing and then up or down nothing. Right in the middle, one, one. So across to one, up one, and so on. Three, three, four, four. So we join them up. Turns out these are a straight line and it's a good habit to get used to just go beyond the crosses to so just off that way and just pass this way. The line doesn't really stop there. It's just that we didn't, I didn't plot anymore. So that's that one. Right, let's do another one. This one says the Y value is equal to two times the X value. So in the Y box, I have to put two times whatever's in the X box. So that's minus four. So I need to double that times it by two two lots of minus four and minus eight. Two lots of minus three, three minus six, two lots of minus two. So again, I'm using this rule here, the Y number, the number that goes in the Y box is two times what goes in the X box. So double that, double nothing is still nothing. Two lots of one, two lots of two, two lots of three, two lots of four. Cool, and that's a different graph to plot. So because I'm going to plot on the same graph, it should have been a good idea to label this one. This one was the graph y equals x. It's a good habit to get into, so I won't get confused. Next one then, I'm going to plot this one, minus 4, minus 8. So I think I mentioned it, but the first number is the across. So minus 4, and then minus 8. So it's down here, it's there, in line with the minus 4 on that axis and then minus eight on the y-axis. So that goes there. Minus three, minus six, to minus three, down to minus six is there. And then minus two, minus four. Uh, next one's minus one, minus two. This one goes through zero, zero again, just on top of that. And then one, two, two, four, three, six, and four, eight. Like that, and join it up again. Remember the last time I said it's a good idea to go past the crosses in both directions. Also actually makes the labeling a little bit easier because you can just use that little space there. This one was y is equal to two x. Okay, so I'm not gonna plot the other ones, but I will just help you out with the table. So y is equal to x plus four. And these are actually, sometimes people find those a little bit difficult. So if you want to, you can start with the positive numbers and then see what's going on. So maybe we start here, one, one plus four, the X number plus four. So one plus four is five, two plus four for the next one, three plus four for the next one. Now, okay, I think we can see what's happening, five, six, seven, eight. So that one's gonna be four, presumably, nothing plus four. Okay, that makes sense. Minus one, add four. So minus one, go up four, takes us to minus so three. You can actually use the scales if you want to help. If I start at minus two and go up four, one, two, three, four, that takes me to two. And then minus one, 
sorry, minus three plus four. Uh, minus three plus four is one. One and minus four add on four takes you to nothing. So that will be a different graph. And then this one, each time you would take away six instead. So there's plenty to be getting on the go. Quite a lot of ones, but some slightly more interesting ones over this side as well. Let you figure out how to do those, I think. Once we've done that, and then different again over here as well. Right, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.